We are X Star Wake, the greatest couple on Twitch. We stream together on the same channel. Most of the time, Max plays the game and I engage with our chat while managing the stream. Many dual streamers or streamers who wants to involve their loved ones or friends in their streaming journey ask us about our setup. In this video, we'll go through all our gear and explain how everything is hooked up. This video is brought to you by Wake TV. If you want to elevate your stream, get your content and channel reviewed monthly, receive personalized technical support, sign up today on wakeTV.xstarwake.com. We have a dual PC setup. You must know we started streaming with a gifted PC without even a GPU. And now, three years later, we have a pretty epic dual PC setup. So don't feel like you have to wait to have the perfect setup before you start streaming yourself. Every bit of support you get from streaming should be reinvested to improve the stability and quality of your channel. It will pay off in the long run. Here are the specs of our gaming PC. We use an Aegon 35-inch 2K ultra-wide monitor for gaming. The reason we use ultra-wide monitor is because the format allow us to have an overlay that doesn't cover any gameplay. I also use a BenQ 24-inch monitor for chat and Discord. Here are the specs of our streaming PC. This is an LG 34-inch ultra-wide monitor where we control vMix and an LG 29-inch ultra-wide monitor for chat, Discord, and music player. You can find all the details of our setup in our Discord server. You're welcome to join and ask any questions at discord.xstarwake.com. Let's just focus on our gaming stream and not on our IRL streams. Our IRL streams are a whole other story, and we'll go through that setup in another video. Our face cam is a Logitech Brio hooked on a load-bearing arm. This mount also holds our interactive stadium light. As an overview cam, we use a Logitech C920 on an arm attached to our IKEA Kallax shelving unit. This mounts also hold our teleprompter that we're using right now. We have a cam for our dog Boris, the best dog on Twitch. It's another Logitech C920 on a flexible arm. You will notice it is mounted upside down and then rotated in our streaming software. All the cameras are connected to the streaming PC via USB. We made sure they're connected on different controllers. Since we are sitting at the same desk right next to each other, we use a single mic configuration. Our mic is a Shure SM7B, which is an XLR, large diaphragm, cardioid dynamic microphone. The mic cable runs through the Cloudlifter CL1 to add an additional 25 dB of gains, then connects to the GoXLR. We attach the mic to a long mic arm to have more mobility so that we can get it closer to either one of us. All right, this is by far the most complex part of streaming as a couple, the audio. First, with the simple stuff, we each have a pair of wireless Astro A50, but they're not connected to our respective PCs. We have a GoXLR connected to the gaming PC. The faders control the mic, where I can add voice effect and sound, the Discord voice chat, my game system sound, and the line-in from the GoXLR Mini. The GoXLR Mini is connected to the streaming PC. The faders controls the line-in from the GoXLR, the stream alerts, the music, and system sound. From the GoXLR line-out, we connected a 3.5 millimeters audio cable that we plugged a ground loop insulator to which we connected in the GoXLR Mini's line-in. We did the same from the GoXLR Mini's line-out to the GoXLR's line-in. The ground loop insulators are essential to remove any static noises from the cables. We use them on the destination side everywhere we connect a 3.5 millimeters shielded TRS audio cable. The routing is where you need to really wrap your head around. Via the GoXLR app, we determined the correct routing. Here are the screenshots of both our routing settings. Most streams, we both want to hear my game sound, Discord, the music, and the alert from the stream. 
So we have an audio jack splitter cable from the GoXLR to which we connect both our headset based station. On nights where I also play on my PC, I connect my headset directly to the GoXLR Mini. Then I don't hear Max's game and he doesn't hear mine. I can connect to any active Discord calls, but I don't send it to the broadcast mix or use my own mic as we're still using the Shure SM7B connected to the gaming PC for Discord as well. We recently brought two Beacon Mix Create and Elgato Wave XLR. We are really excited to make the switch. We'll explain exactly how to swap and set it up in a future video. So be sure to subscribe, like this video, and share with your fellow streamers. Capturing the gameplay for a two PC setup is quite simple when you think about it. The streaming PC has an Elgato 4K60 Pro capture card installed in the PCIe slot. An HDMI cable goes from the gaming PC GPU to the capture card input. On the gaming PC, I simply duplicate my main display desktop and send it over via HDMI to the streaming PC capture card. Duplicating the screen currently sends the video at 60 FPS. Utilizing Elgato 4K60 Pro, we can capture at 4K at 60 FPS or 1080p at 240 FPS, so it's perfect for our situation. We have the best community on Twitch, and over the past three years, we acquired some neat and crazy accessories for streaming. One thing I don't think we could stream without is our Excel Stream Deck connected to the streaming PC. But one of the best thing we have by far is the gaming flask. This delivers a pure 64 ounce of amazing bourbon right in the throat. When we play Scary Fridays, where I never scream, of course, I wear a Pulsoid Polar H10 heart rate monitor. We display the heart rate on our overlay. When we were into Phasmophobia, I was using the Oculus Rift S to be fully immersed in the game. One of the cool accessories that we own is the Tactoot X40 haptic vest. You can feel the games you're playing to a whole new level. Match the haptic vest with the VR in a super scary game like Phasmophobia, and you are sure to let go of a few drops or even a nuggy in your undies. Not to mention that the vest makes me look like Batman. I rock a Corsair K70 MK2 with Cherry MX silent switches and a Corsair Night Sword RGB gaming mouse. I use an 88 keys Corsair K70 RGB TKL with Cherry MX speed key switches and a Logitech G903 light speed wireless gaming mouse on the Logitech G Power Play wireless charging system. Damn, that's a setup right there, bro. Twitch sent us a beautiful RGB XL mouse pad, so we had to get a second one to have the ultimate matching setup. To optimize the quality of our cameras, we have two Elgato key lights placed in a proper angle to remove any unwanted shadows. Setting up these lights was a challenge because there are two subjects in front of the camera, so some angles were working great for Max but were really unflattering for me. Also, because I'm wearing glasses, the key light had to be high to remove any glares and reflections. But this is what worked for us. Nothing gives vibe to a stream like ambient lighting. We have two Philips U Go, four Philips U Play, and one Philips U Light Strip, all connected to a Hue Smart Hub. Our lights react to alerts and different reactions to make it even more dynamic. Last but not least, we have a 6500 Lumen Stadium light that viewers can cheer to activate and blind us. Our cable management isn't the best, but we try to keep as many wires off our custom-made desk. We have a heavy-duty 24 outlet power bar with an integrated 15 amp circuit breaker that we bolted behind our desk. To avoid blocking outlets with giant brick style AC adapter, we use a bunch of one foot three prong grounded outlet extensions. Then we put the AC adapters and loose cable in basket above the power bar under the desk. We tidy as much as possible with Velcro tie wraps. Our desk is an office desk that we modified to add extension that we bolted to the walls with brackets. Three of our monitors are put in place with Vivo monitor mounts to give us as much desk space as possible. 
We both rock Ergo Mesh Chair for better comfort for sitting in front of the PC for an 8 to 10 hour gaming session. I am sitting on a Contessa chair while Mel has a moustache office chair. Both smoothly roll on upgraded rollerblade office chair wheels. Our streaming room is in a very open area. We have a cathedral ceiling so the sound bounces back. But we added sunproof panels. We also embellish our background with a 42 inch TV that displays our logo and other stream related image in rotations. I'm also proud to display my Bob Ross collection, our weight boards, and some Twitch partner swag. Hopefully this video inspired you to follow your dream to start streaming. We came a very long way and our setup has greatly evolved. Thanks to our stream income, we are continuously improving our equipment. If you want to see all of this in action, we stream on Twitch five days a week. You are welcome to drop by and ask us anything and tell us about your setup. Have fun streaming.